Engine operation is monitored with three instruments. The oil pressure and oil temperature indicator, the tachometer and the exhaust gas temperature indicator. An oil pressure line is routed from the upper front of the engine case to the rear engine baffle. At the baffle the oil pressure line is connected to a transducer. The transducer produces an electrical signal which is translated into a pressure reading by the oil pressure gauge. A resistance type probe is located in the engine accessory case. Probe resistance changes as oil temperature changes. Resistance is translated into oil temperature readings on the oil temperature indicator. Oil is drawn from the engine sump through an oil suction strainer screen and into the engine driven oil pump. If the oil is cold, the bypass valve sends it directly to the full flow oil filter. However, if the oil is hot, the valve routes the oil out of the accessory housing and into a flexible hose leading to the oil cooler on the right rear engine baffle. Pressure oil from the cooler then returns to the accessory housing and to the full flow oil filter. The filter oil then enters a pressure relief valve. Oil is circulated to various engine parts for lubrication, while the excess is returned to the sump by gravity flow. The engine should not be operated with less than 5 quarts of oil, with 8 quarts used for extended flight. An oil filler cap, oil dipstick, is located at the right rear of the engine. In addition, a red oil pressure enunciator also illuminates on the enunciator panel when oil pressure is low. The enunciator is wired to a pressure switch on the rear of the engine accessory case. When oil pressure is below 20 psi, the switch grounds and completes the enunciator circuit, illuminating the red oil pressure light. When pressure exceeds 20 psi, the ground is removed and the oil pressure enunciator is extinguished. Minimum oil pressure is 20 psi. Maximum oil pressure is 115 psi. Normal operating pressure is 50 to 90 psi. The mechanical tachometer is driven by the engine. The tachometer is calibrated in 100 rpm increments and indicates both engine and propeller speed. An hour meter records elapsed engine time in hours and tenths. The EGT uses a thermocouple in the engine exhaust to produce a voltage proportional to exhaust gas temperature. As the mixture is lean from full rich, exhaust gas temperature will increase to a maximum value as the most chemically efficient fuel air ratio is achieved. It will decrease if the mixture continues to be leaned. Exhaust gas temperature varies with fuel air mixture, density altitude, throttle position and RPM. The EGT indicator can be used to lean to a known value using the maximum or peak exhaust gas temperature as a reference. The peak can be marked with an index pointer. EGT should not be used to lean when operating at more than 75% power. <laughs>